Hi guys, this is Steve Darcy with Go Engineer, and I thought I'd walk you through this with a uh, video instead of doing it with a bunch of pictures on a Word doc. So here we go. I've got a pretty simple part. It seems like it's fairly simple, but there were a couple tricks to it. So uh, let's dive right in. First thing I did was, of course, brought in my JPEG onto a sketch plane. Everything three dimensions pretty much starts out two dimensions. And let's go ahead and back up and let's go ahead and edit the sketch. So I told you in the uh, Word doc that all I really needed was a pair of calibers. And I pretty much just needed, I had two dimensions actually helps out quite a bit because it makes sure that the JPEG and the picture I was on dead on instead of having some parallax and stuff. Uh, but this 1.28 dimension, that was, that was pretty much what I really wanted. So once I got that size, uh, I pretty much had, uh, I wanted to also get this little teeny tiny little fillet in there. And I wanted a little part that's going to squeeze inside there and, of course, block off some of my sensor so I can walk across the hall and not set off the uh, light bulb. So this is the first start of it, pretty much. Let's go ahead and uh, hop back out of the sketch. And I did this a little bit different just to be Steve Darcy-ish. So uh, I started with a sketch. Let me go ahead and hide that. And I wanted to get the angle that I wanted to cut off of that thing. So if you kind of take a look, there's my uh, my edge. There's the little part that I want the uh, little piece on. And I wasn't sure exactly how far to go, so I just started on an edge and uh, created a surface. So let's go ahead and turn on that surface. And you'll see what I got there. Then I came in, actually created my extrude thin. So I just sketched or stole some of the edges and extruded those guys up until it actually hit that surface. So you can see I did it up to surface, selected on the surface. I started at the bottom plane and then uh, it stopped where that face was. Once I did that, then of course I had this flat face that I could sketch on. So that's exactly what I did. I'll go ahead and turn my surface off. So now I have that thing at a cut. Went ahead and just did a boss extrude out of there with a very simple uh, rectangular shape. I stole some of the edges off there and just extruded that. Now here's a little bit of the difference is uh, I went ahead and made this part thinner because I had to really fit it into the little piece of plastic. Um, this part I needed a little bit thicker because when I found out when I got too thin then the sensor uh, actually went right on through it. Uh, when you 3D print stuff you do have some areas in where uh, it doesn't actually tie together especially if it's a very thin part. Uh, especially at an angle so uh, I need to make sure that I had uh, quite a bit of thickness of plastic in there to make sure that the uh, sensor didn't go through so once I created that the rest was pretty much cosmetic a little fillet on the inside a little fillet on the outside and a little bit of some chamfers to kind of help me guide this into uh, the the little pocket that it needs to fit in so again if I turn on my my little part there you can see this is supposed to fit right up inside there. I wanted it to fit nice and snug. And of course I could have done it to the outside, but uh, I, this thing fit pretty good. So I was very happy with the snug fit. But then the other thing was uh, have some of my, uh, my people that like to use the shell command. They said, man, why didn't you just do that with a shell command? And so guess what? I did. But before I show you that, I want you to see that I have my regular sketch, then one, two, three, four, five, six different features here. So let's go ahead and open up my light switch with the shell. There we go. So here, a little bit different way. Started with the regular sketch, did an extrude. This was a big blocky thing. Uh, then I had to come back in and cut it at an angle. So there's my cut. Then did the shell. So this was the only kind of tricky part was on the shell I had to do a multi-thickness override. So uh, 0.04 thickness on this. All the other ones were offset at 0.02. So that gives me the unequal thickness. Um, when I did it with the fillet, because the fillet on the outside was 0.04, then uh, it wouldn't actually give me the right curvature on there. So I did have to add the, uh, the fillets later and of course the chamfer at the end. So if you want to count out the amount of features, exact same amount of features, 
I just try and show you two different ways to do the exact same thing. But uh, hopefully in some instances, this may actually work a little bit better. In other instances, maybe the surface and the extrude thin uh, may actually work better. So two different options to do the same thing. Once you have the part, then uh, I wanted to try out a couple different variations. So I created some quick configurations. I started at a 0.05. And then I did uh, 0.065, so I made it a little bit longer. And then 0.75, so I got three quarters of an inch in between there. And I was really just trying to cut down how much of that sensor that was actually going to be showing. So you can kind of see right there. It's right there on that sensor. If I go to a different configuration, you can see it kind of cutting back a little bit. Pretty much found out that the uh, 0.75 was the winner on this one. Uh, it wasn't too much um, and it allowed me to kind of even sometimes go into the room a little bit and still not set off the alarm or the uh, the light until I actually went right on in. So hopefully you enjoyed this and uh, the .075 was the winner. So thanks for watching. Enjoy.